was just talk so fast. She was like, oh, did you bring line? Did you get box? Did you get your box? Did you get your box? And I'm just like, baby, what? Like. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. It's your girl, Tiffany, a.k.a. Nene. If you're new here, hey, girl, hey. If you're a returning subby, hi. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Um, before we get into this video, yeah, no, like, let's just jump right in it. So, I am on my way. It is January 22nd, and I am on my way to, uh, um, Smile Direct Club for a consultation, um, you guys know that I want to get my teeth. I want to close my gap. So I had braces way, 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 way back. Like when I was in high school, I never wore the retainer. Um, so over the course of years, life just happened. Like in my teeth, you know, my gap started opening back up. Um, I never had a huge gap, but I had a gap. Um, so I just want to get my teeth whitened and close my gap. And sorry for all the bumps. Like I'm driving down Atlantic Avenue and it's mad bumpy. If you're from New York, you know. But um, so my gap is just opening back up and I want my teeth whitened. So in my previous vlog, you see me go get my teeth whitening and it was only one treatment. Um, I did see a slight difference but not a drastic difference and of course I have to like constantly get in my teeth whitened in order to see and get them where I want them to get so I'm just going to smile direct club and I'm gonna give you a little story about that hold on I'm trying to defrost my windows and I'm a little mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a little uh, with Smile Direct Club. Only reason being is because first I was like, like, what is that? Like, and not trying to say I'm bougie. Like, I have my moments, but I don't want to be like, oh, I'm bougie. But I'm just like, what is that? So like, I know everybody uses it for aligners and braces and teeth whitening, but I know it as doing teeth whitening. I never knew they sell um, aligners, but they don't even call them Invisalign, they call them aligners. So this is why I'm going to get a free 3D scan because I have questions. Because when I went to Diamond Braces, um, that's where I was originally going to go and I felt comfortable doing Diamond Braces versus Smile Direct Club just because they have an orthodontist on site. Um, and when I did the scans for my teeth at Diamond Braces, they was like, oh, okay, cool. You close, you're going to close it. You don't need, I think they said only like four trays I'm going to need to close it. And then they're going to have to, um, build back up one of my tooth because it's so little. And then when everything closed in, um, it's still going to have a gap. So they have to like rebuild a tooth back. So they were just giving me information where it's like, okay, cool. I could just do everything one here instead of, you know, going this place for braces and then having to go to another, um, orthodontist to go do something else. Like I literally just wanted everything in one spot. So that's why I was like, all right, cool. I could do diamond braces. Um, it was expensive. Um, I think I either had to pay $2,000 down or $1,000 down and finance the rest. I think the rest was like two something a month. And I didn't really want to, like two something a month, that's a lot. Like add it on, on top of whatever else I got going on, like that's a lot. So I was like, all right, let me go to Smile Direct Club just to see. Hold up, before all of that, um... Before I was like, let me go to Smile Direct Club to let me see. They said that they're going to add like a little something on my teeth so it's easier for me to click in. And after doing YouTube reviews on uh, um, Invisalign, it, the Invisalign itself seemed sturdy. 
So I was like, all right, cool. It don't look cheap. So I was like, all right, cool. So all the money that I have to pay, all the money that they're telling me I have to pay, again, sorry for the shakiness. I could just imagine how this look on the receiving end. Terrible. So I could understand why the price is how it is. So I was like, all right, let me go check out Smile Direct Club. So Smile Direct Club, it's, um, let's see if this works. There we go. Son, you gonna do me like that? Ugh. Y'all, the sun ain't being real nice. Oh, no, that's only if my arm is in the way. All right, so I'm gonna try and drive it like this. <laughs> so, um, so I Googled Smile Direct Clubs, and as I'm YouTubing Smile Direct Clubs, I'm just like, okay, and... Uh, Again, I may be wrong, so I won't know. But the reason for me turning up my face, like, e, because when a girl put her al aligners in, right, the top, she said, fits perfectly. But the bottom, it didn't fit how it was supposed to fit. Like, and then, like, here, where everything's supposed to look flush, it was, like, poking out. So, like, she couldn't really, like... She couldn't really close her mouth. And she was doing this a lot. So, like, everywhere else was flush except for down here. And I was like, oh, no. Sis done paid all her money for this. And she's still paying for it. And it ain't right. Then on top of that, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I want to have an orthodontist on site. When I go and they, I have to do updates and stuff. Like, I want one on site. And then... Can't smile direct club build back up the tooth that they said once everything closes it's still going to be a space back there because the tooth is so small so like i have all of these questions how are they going to snap like are you guys going to put something on it so it could snap and then i also want to be able to whiten my teeth in the process so that's another thing i'm kind of iffy about because the little things that they put on your teeth so the aligners could stay there i don't think you could whiten your teeth with them on and I'm scared that if I decide to go white in my teeth or try it, around that spot that is on, it's gonna be white in. And then when they take it off, it's too, that spot gonna be yellow. What is that? So I have a whole bunch of questions to ask, and it's nothing wrong with getting a second opinion. So that's why I'm going um, to Smile Direct Club today. Um, so. Yeah, so we going there now to see what they what they talking about. I know the prices is cheaper, but from the looks of it on YouTube, I see why they might be cheap. But then again, I might be wrong because that's YouTube. I don't physically have it in my hand to see. So we're going to see. I'm trying to block the sun, like. But I can't drive and block the sun at the same time. Hold up. Wait a minute. Boom. I got y'all temporary. I'm passing the Barclay Center. Um, but yeah, so we're going there. But I really just want to like get my teeth white and like real nice and white. And um, I don't have no cavities or nothing. So that's a plus. No crowns, no nothing. But I just want my teeth to be whitened. I want my gaps to close. Top and bottom. And if I have a overbite, you know, like I just want my teeth clean, like fresh. <laughs> yeah, and then I already made my hair appointment because I took out these box braids. It was that time, guys, you know, when you get box braids and the tip, it just started creating that white stuff. It wasn't it for me no more. It wasn't it for me. And... I only had them bad boys in for a month and whoa y'all know y'all know like I don't like wasting money and I felt like I wasted the money no no I didn't let me shut up I didn't waste the money because I had the hairstyle for a good two damn months but I wish I would have had it in for like another month to be honest because it just takes so much time out of my day to get myself ready when my hair's already done. But your girl is getting a weave. And 
y'all. But I'm pulling up here. And I'll see y'all when I get inside. Bye. The Smile Direct Club. There she go. On Atlantic Avenue. So let's see. I got out of 1036, so y'all know I got here at 10 o'clock, I believe I said, 30 minutes, and this was just, uh, -huh. Ooh, I left this water in the car, Ooh, I love leaving water in the car in the winter time, she was just talk so fast, she was like, oh, did you bring line, did you get your box, did you get your box, did you get your box, and I'm just like, baby, what, like, you been here, you clearly know your job because you are clearly speaking really, really, really fast. But then it's like, she got annoyed when I was asking questions and then I'm looking at her and even me telling her to slow down. Like, what do you say? I just don't like people like that because I'm not like that. And I have more reasons to be annoyed in a situation like that because I'm an educator and students be asking me the same question 1500 times and you don't never hear me or see me go <sighs> and I'm just looking at her like miss if you don't like your job you can quit but anyway um I'm downtown Brooklyn and I told the kids before I get back into that I told the kids oh we're gonna go to Shake Shack because they never had a Shake Shack they never had a Shake Shack burger so I was gonna get it, but it's too early. It's 10 38 in the morning. So we might drive back down here to go to Shake Shack. And then you know it's a target. I'm in my home decor decorating phase. And I know y'all like, how y'all home? How you home decorating? And you don't even know where you going, how's it gonna look. Mm -mm. I already have my colors, I already know what type of design I wanna do. So I just get the bare basic minimum. Like, but anyway. So I went, I couldn't really record. I didn't even want to ask her because she was just so like uptight. Like, ew. But I did get a goodie bag. And you either pay $1,950, something like that up front, or you can pay in installments where you pay $250, $250 down payment, and then you finance the rest, which would be $80 a month for two years. Um, and total came up to 2000 2000 or $2,300. It was probably like $300 more, but... Um, why? 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 People own trucks and automatically think they own the goddamn road because they have a damn truck. four more hundred dollars more than the 1950s i believe um for two years but i want to pay a whole nineteen thousand dollars down because i got other things to do with my money so i just gave it a 250 and then we are allowed to pay more so before the year's even up i have all that stuff paid off um 
So she just showed me what was in the box, how what the inside of the box would look, what I would get. And I was just asking her questions like I told you guys that I was, you know, ranting on to you guys on the way there. And she's like, Invisalign is just the company, but they are clear aligners and, you know, her little snotty self. But um, it made sense. They still put the, the little things on your teeth that I was talking about. So I got that confirmed. Um, you still can whiten your teeth um, with them on. Um, and I also asked her, you know, my feel if I whiten with everything be white in or it's just that spot she said no um everything is good but then what i don't understand is how or where y'all gonna put those things on my like on my teeth like and i hate don't y'all hate when y'all leave a place <laughs> you have all your questions written down but then when you leave you have a whole new set of questions yeah that's me right now now i have a whole new whole new set of questions because i did ask her like i want to get in touch with my other doctors like i i don't want to be like i just want to physically be in touch with my other doctors so if i have any questions i'm speaking to a real live person um oh my god so she said yeah but so like what do I, and my question that i have is so how do i go back and put the things on my teeth how does that happen That's my question. Like, how does that happen? Do I come back to do it? Or is it so like, I have to ask. I have to, when I get home, hopefully I got an email. Um, they said the doctor will reach out to me within 72 hours. Because um, I told her, I don't want my, don't charge my card, no $250. If I ain't speak to no orthodontist, if I don't like it, I get refunds. So, all of that is good. Because I don't play with my coins. I work two jobs. Not one. Two, I work two jobs. I don't play with my coins. <laughs> you better ask about me. But nah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, ask anybody. Like, y'all don't want to be out here wasting money. Like, nobody don't want to be wasting money. I don't give a shit how much money you make. Or how extra bougie you think you are. Nobody still don't like wasting their money. Hey, guys. All right. So, I am back. I just reached home. If you hear a lot of noise going on in the background, my kids is here. Can't give them what. So they have a peek in the bag. So we're going to open the bag up together to see. Come say hi. Since you want to say hi. So come say hi. Since you want to say hi. I'm doing a video. I didn't even want to say hi. Okay. I want to see the bag. So first. They give you this share the love Hi and guys. the smiles card. Right? And it's I would invite a friend program, refer every friend, invite your friends to make money. Thanks. Um, then you got um sample a brighter smile. But I guess it fell out because it ain't even in here, which is right here. So these are two, two day four uses, two days four uses. Okay. So these are the whitening strips. I'm gonna open the bag up together to see. Come say hi. Since you wanna say hi. So come say hi. What do you want to say hi? I'm doing a video. I didn't even want to say hi. Okay. I want to see what's in the bag. So first, they give you this share the love hi and guys. the smiles card. Right? And it's, I would invite a friend program, refer every friend, invite your friends to make money. Um, then you got... Um, sample a brighter smile but I guess it fell out because it ain't even in here which is right here so these are two two day four uses two days four uses okay 
So these are the Whiteman strips. Darius and Demetrius. Thank you. I'm not going to say it again. So these are the Whiteman strips. Um, they gave me two of these. And it says bright on two days for you. So, so I use this two times a day. Um, two times a day for two days. That makes for you this. Um, this is um, bright on smile thing. I'm assuming it's the the electrical the the light. Let's see. Yeah, so I got this for free because I was gonna buy it anyway, but <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with a little free free. So <laughs> this is what it is. I'm gonna in here it's a what is this? Phone adapters. Oh, they put a little different different types of phone adapters in there. So it's a little case. This is cool because we're about to use this right now. And then they give you what is this? It looks like this. It's like a little ball. And this is Oh lip balm. <laughs> It smells really good, though. I'm looking at my mirror. My mirror. My full body mirror here. Mm. So they gave me two of these. So I'm super excited about that because I like to keep my lips feeling nice. I can't. So this is all that was in the bag. Bye. Um, I don't think I would use this bag for anything just because I don't like people knowing so much know, stuff. Guys. But we are going to do this teeth whitening thing before I go take a quick little nap. Um, so let's see. Keep out of reach of children. Avoid swallowing the gel. It's if someone swallows it, do not induce a vomiting. Avoid contact with eyes and rinse immediately. If product comes in contact with them, avoid contact with fabric. The gel may alter after cover. Yeah. So let's just skip to the how to use part because it was just a whole bunch of like, yeah. So brush your teeth first, which I did before I went. Um, then remove the cap of the pen. Slowly twist the bottom of the cap of the pen. Okay, brush gently on the teeth. The circular motion. Plug the U. This is what I want to do first. So plug the LED. Plug the LED accelerator light into your smartphone or USB port. So let's do that first. I like that they provide you with. Um, two different types of adapters and it's literally one for your iphone and one for android like that is a neat you know little feature to have so this i have um that's the android thing so i'm just connecting it in here if it wants, to, if it wants to go, you know. There we go. Then we're gonna take this little wiring piece off. So this is will be this will be take two of me doing my teeth whitening. So I'm gonna move in a little closer. But let me put this other adapter back in here before. I lose it back into this pouch. And then I have my mirror over here, so that's fine. So I have a charger right behind here. I have a charger right here in this wall, so I'm just going to, bruh. Why, why, why do you 
<laughs> what did I think that I was gonna do with this? Let's switch it to the Apple port one and plug it in my phone and see if it work. Ooh. We got lights. We got lights. So this is a success. So we're gonna take that out. Ooh, and that light is bright. I think we're just better off using it. We're just better off using it with the iPhone. Sun. And avoid dark staining foods and liquids for 24 hours after each use. All right, cool. Let's do this. I'm excited. Let's do this. Thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, I'm going to just have it plugged up now. Because to have all that stuff on my face, on my teeth. Oh my goodness, calm down here. It's my teeth whitening. All right, so I'm whitening my teeth. They are so amazed. Hi. Whitening my teeth. Hi, guys. So I'm about to twist this and put this on my... <laughs> I told you guys about that piece of gel that was here when I left um it came off like I was flossing and then I guess it cut cut caught onto the floss and then it just like fell off um but that's like glue from like I said from when I had braces um but a piece of it fell off so yeah I see a slight difference. I'm gonna just continue using it. It says five, but it's gonna hurt you adding extra minutes. What is it gonna do? Make your teeth more whiter? Like, <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. We gonna get these together. It's a slight difference. Look at it. It's a slight difference. Hey y'all, only literally like, an hour later when I said after we done did everything and I was like oh I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna go take a nap sis she ain't lay down she ain't gonna take a nap she need food first and then she's going to lay down and take a nap so we're going to um Benihana I'm craving some yum yum sauce so um we get ready to go there I have just some fashion over jeans that i love <laughs> it makes the booty look extra good um a boohoo bodysuit and then i think i'm either gonna do maybe my thigh high boots 
or maybe a ugly honestly because i just want to go real chill and eat um i just put my hair in a slick ponytail with the baby he is is giving oh this look would have came together if i had my lashes done but this is just what the hair is looking like i cut my sideburns because they were long they were like right here i was like oh let me cut them so they could just be more flush and cute like so i did that don't mind my bed because i got in it and i got right back out of it because i was like let me get them ready they thought that's not gonna be here until two o'clock our reservations is for three so we're gonna leave um but yeah this is what i have on i think i might wear i might want to put this on too hold on wait a second this is what i thought that i was gonna wear with it but now that i got it on and it's a hood it's not giving what it's supposed to be giving so i'm gonna pass like one thing about me i hate having to feel like i have clothes on it drives me insane i do not like it so i get real irritated really fast when i feel like i have clothes on example jeans i hate feeling confined that's why i love a pair of leggings because you could dress it up you could dress it down these fashion over jeans they don't give me that confinement feel but they are tight um to a certain extent so and then having to put a thigh high boot over the jean is like even more tightness so I don't know, even though the boot, y'all, that boot, the boot, the thigh high boot is giving, it's giving, but I prefer to wear a thigh high boot like if I'm doing like a dress, so it's just sticking to my thigh versus the pants sticking to me and then the boot sticking to me, like it's just too much sticking to me, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I think I'm just going to just rock with the Ugg boo. I don't know because this is just not like it's not a date date. I'm just going to have lunch. That's it. <laughs> Welcome back. Today is another day. Today is January 23rd, I believe. Yeah, January 23rd, Sunday morning. It is 8 13. And y'all know I spend 90% of my vlogs in my vehicle. So I apologize. For all the roughness but um yeah last night we went to uh, benihana it was so much fun i was like i got off of work y'all know when i said i was like oh i'm gonna go to sleep but sis was hungry i was hungry y'all sorry for that i was hungry and to go eat some food i had me some lo mein filet mignon a lobster tail um two of these bomb drinks that y'all will see and some shrimp it was good <laughs> and i'm about to tear that up for some leftovers today <laughs> yes with some yum yum sauce Oh my god, that's one thing about me. I love my bed 
and some food. You know, minus the other good, you know, it's a vitamin D, 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 and some other stuff. But those are like my top two, like food and bed. That's all the system wine and glass of wine. That's what you care about. But anyway, I did that yesterday. It was so much fun. Everybody had fun. So I treated everybody to go out because, you know, we was working. So then when I went home, we got home like about 7 o'clock. I fell asleep. I know y'all heard that bump. I fell asleep and um, I set my alarm. My alarm woke me up at 6, uh, not 6.50. My alarm woke me up at 10.50. So like, all right, I got 10 minutes to do whatever it is I need to do before I leave out the door at 11 o'clock, 11.20 to leave. Girl, when I looked at that clock and I was like, oh, 10.50, all right, I have 10 more minutes 